Hello and welcome to English 170, uh, Composition 2. So um, this class picks up where you left off in Comp 1. So this class is going to focus in eight weeks on um, writing arguments, on using sources, finding sources from the library, from online, evaluating them, uh, citing sources, writing informative texts as well as argumentative. Uh, and we're going to do this in different genres as well. So it's very likely that this class uh, will introduce you to many different types of writing and how you can include an argument in um, a very different, maybe non-traditional kind of piece of writing. So we're not going to be writing just all uh, traditional essays in this course. So with this class, if you haven't already noticed, you can proceed at your own pace. Um, just as long as your own pace means that you uh, turn things in at the due date. Uh, so that means you can uh, turn things in ahead of time. You can work ahead uh, for most of these assignments. Um, so the exception with being able to work ahead in this class is with the replies to the discussion board. So for each week, we'll have a discussion that will be one of the assignments. Um, and you'll have an initial post that you'll videotape yourself um, and post that. And then later in the week, by Sunday, you'll be required to type out a reply to at least two of your peers. So that reply to at least two of your peers uh, probably is something that you can't work ahead on. So you can post things ahead, you can submit assignments ahead, but probably for the finishing up discussion, you'll have to wait until later on during the week uh, that we're doing that. But otherwise, you can work ahead um, as much as you want, um, just as long as it's really, it is really important to stay on track with this class. Um, other things. So this class, um, if you've noticed, looking at the modules, so you can follow this entire course just going to the home page or the modules page and following through in order. Uh, the same kind of information is available on the syllabus page as well, plus additional contact information and information about how the course is graded is on the syllabus page. Uh, so the majority of our course uh, focus on four writing projects. Um, so I'm unwilling to call them essays because, as I said earlier, some of them are, are non-traditional kind of writing assignments. So hopefully they'll be more fun. Uh, so we will write a rough draft and a final draft of each of those assignments. So that will work out to eight weeks, meaning that for uh, every other week, we'll either be uh, submitting, like for instance, at the end of this week, we'll be submitting a rough draft of an assignment. And then on the other weeks, on Sunday, we'll be submitting a final draft of an assignment. So I'll give you feedback on both your rough and your final drafts. Um, so just because the really the most important thing um, to get out of this class is to be able to revise. So to be able to write something and then revise it to improve it, to be able to look at it and figure out what it needs to, uh, to improve it. Um, because really, lots of students think that um, to be good in a class like this, in a writing class, that it takes some kind of special talent. You have to be born with it um, in order to do well in a writing class. And that's not true at all. Um, so really, for this class, just like any other class, the more practice and more effort you put into it, um, the more you're going to improve. So it's just like a sport. So think about a sport, or if you play a musical instrument, um, you know that you have to practice that. You can't assume just the first time you go out in the field, you'll just get everything and uh, you don't have to practice. So same thing goes for composition. Um, the more you practice with it, uh, the better you're going to be. So to think about what are professional writers like? They, they must be gifted. They must have just a special talent. And that's not true. They might be more interested in writing than other people. That makes sense. Um, but they're not professional because they're gifted. They're professional because they know how important it is to revise. And studies have shown this. But that's really the key. Because everybody, no matter if you're a professional writer, a famous author, just a, you know, starting out in a composition class, everybody writes a terrible first draft. That's just reality. Um, so even your favorite writer 
their first draft of your favorite novel was terrible. The thing is, the important key is that they knew how important it is to revise. So that's why it's important that we're writing a rough draft, one where you just get your ideas out on paper, see how it looks, or on the screen, really, in our case. Um, and then you get feedback. And then you plan out what you're going to do to improve it. And then you work on improving it. And it's that working on improving it that's really quite so key um, and will make you a better writer. All right, so that's it for my introduction. If you have questions at any time, of course, you can email me, you can message me on Canvas. My contact information is on the syllabus page, um, so you can go there to find out more. Um, so also, I'll be available for um, online office hours on Tuesdays. That info is also available on the syllabus page. Um, so all right, I'm looking forward to this class, and I hope you are too. All right, bye.